Hey everyone, it's Emily, and I am back with another plan with me. So this was this week, which was my cat-themed week. It is currently Friday morning. I didn't make as great of progress on my to-do list this week as I meant to, but I do think the week turned out really cute, and I love all the cats, and I'm just, I was just really happy with how this turned out. So this week, today I am planning the week of February 1st through February 7th. I am going to be doing a Mardi Gras theme because my mom is on the crew of NYX and their parade is on the 3rd and so in honor of that I will be doing a Mardi Gras theme and so I got these two sheets from Blushing Noir. I will link her down below. And so I just got the set that has the half boxes, the washi, and the decorative sheet with all of the masks because I think they're really really beautiful and really elegant and that's more of the feel that I was trying to go for with this week. I also printed out a couple of different backgrounds. I actually took these pictures of my own collection of my Mardi Gras beads and just took them completely out of focus so that it's blurry and you just kind of get sort of colorful images and not necessarily specific pictures of any of the beads. I really like how they turned out. As for washi tape, I will be using these two gold washi tapes up at the top, and I will also be using this purple washi tape. I already cut it in half because it's a little bit too wide for going between the days of my planner. So I'm going to start out by just putting down all of my washi tape. All right, so all of the washi tape is down. I really like how it turned out. I actually like the pattern that's on the top of February, but it doesn't really go with my color scheme a whole lot. There's gonna be a little bit of pink, but not quite as much as leaving the top would have implied. So I just wanted to get rid of that, make it gold, do some purple in between, and then leave this adorable little quote that comes printed in the Lily Pulitzer planner. It says, anything is possible with sunshine and a little pink. So hopefully there will actually be some sunshine this week. I am really tired of the cold. Okay, so next thing I need to do is remove all of my sticky notes where I'm keeping track of what is going on this week. And I already have a TV sticker down on the 4th, but that is because I thought that there was going to be a Big Bang Theory episode this week, and there wasn't, and so I had to move it to next week. But fortunately, the green still goes with the Mardi Gras theme, so it's all good. Alright, so the next thing I need to do is put down all of my checklists. And so I think I am going to organize these. I think I'm going to do gold, green, purple, gold, green, because then I'm going to use some purple ones down here. For my Saturday checklist, I'm actually going to just use this short one from the sampler I got from Evie Lou Co. ages ago. This was from, this was I think the sampler from the very first order I ever placed with her. And so I've used a lot of the items, but I still have some checklists. So I'm just going to do a short checklist for Saturday, and then I'll just keep a longer checklist on a notepad or something and just use this one. Just go right there. Perfect. All right, so next up is putting down all of my full boxes. I also have a full box that came on my sampler from Blushing Noir, so I'm going to use that somewhere. I haven't quite decided yet, so this could be an interesting process. So I'm going to leave that for the moment. Up here on Monday, I'm going to use this little printable I printed out, which has a bunch, just has a bunch of words having to do with Louisiana, New Orleans, Mardi Gras, 
and I'm going to be putting it on top of this pattern which I had printed out for a previous week and had left over. So I'm just going to stick this onto here, trim it to size, and then put it right up there on Monday. So the next thing I need to do is put down all of my hour tracking stickers. So instead of printing circles out, I had these purple squares that I got from Pip Sticks. And so I'm just going to go ahead and use those instead of printing out circles. And so they're going to go on every single day so that I can track the number of hours that I spend on TA requirements. I still have a bunch of them left so I could use them for something else later on. Alright, next thing I'm going to put down are my books read and so my weekly things I'm going to be putting up at the top and so I have two, uh, I'm going to be reading two books as usual this week and I'm also going to be adding another item up to the top so I got these little weekly habit trackers from Pemberley Prints they're really adorable. They come in a variety of pastel shades. This is just one of the sheets. I have another sheet. Um, I post a picture of them on my Instagram so you can see them there. And I'm going to use these to track the days that I work out because I really need to start getting serious about my workout routine. So I'm going to put that up here because I'm going to be putting the month over there. So I'll put my workouts right there and then the books that I read will go next to that and next to the month. Alright, next thing to go down are my teaching and class stickers. Alright, so next down are my little social media stickers. And so I printed these in gold because I really wanted to bring a little bit more gold into this spread. And I need to put my last class sticker down on Monday. And that is it for my weekly things. So I can put in my last quote, which is just, I just typed up, Laissez les bons temps rouler, and I'm just going to stick that on top of this full box. I want to leave some space because I'm definitely going to be putting a mask down there. Alright, and so now I can start filling in some of the events that are going on this week. And so the first thing that I want to mention is that I have a presentation I'm giving on Monday. So I'm going to use one of these, I'm going to use a green half box to mark that. So that's just going to go right there. And that's pretty much going to consume all of Monday because that'll last for, that class lasts for a couple of hours and I'm going to be spending the majority of the morning prepping for it. So it's going to consume a lot of my time. On Wednesday, my mom's crew rolls, so I'm going to use a gold half box just to mark that up here at the top.
And then I have a lot of stuff going on on Friday, and so I'm going to use a purple half box on top of this gold box to mark a bunch of the things that are going on. A friend of mine is having surgery, and so I am um, taking her to the hospital, picking her up, and I am picking her son up from school, so I need to mark all of those things down there, and I might end up adding in another sticker somewhere else later on. All right, other things that are going on. I actually should probably not have put, I'm actually gonna move, I'm gonna take off this half box because I just realized that I do have one other thing that's going on on Monday, and so I'm gonna need a little bit more space than that. So I will just put this back on the sheet, and instead I will use a piece of the green washi to mark my presentation up at the top. And then the other thing that is happening that day is my fiance and I are working on our pre-canna course. Our, it's basically Catholic marriage prep. And so we have another lesson to do on Monday, and so I need to mark that. So I'm going to use one of these little flags from Abby Lou and Co. I used half of it already, and the reason it's cut in half is because I needed to make it fit better into my sticker binder, and I already used everything down on the other side. So I'm going to take this dark purple one and stick that right down here, and then I'm going to use one of these Hello stickers from Tallulah Grace Crafts because it is really adorable around the flag. I think that's really cute. I'm really happy with how that looks. All right, and so that I think is it for major events that are happening. I might end up having another meeting on Wednesday. I'm waiting to hear back and see what's going on with that. So we'll find out, but as of right now, that is all of the events that are happening. So the next thing I need to do is put down some of my little icons. So I do laundry every Friday, so I'm gonna be marking that. And I just write that down at the bottom. I have some bills that are due, so I'm gonna need to use a couple of these. Let's use a yellow one on the first. Put it over there so that it doesn't get on top of my presentation sticker. I'll use a purple one for the fifth. I think that actually might be it. And then I have some TV stickers, so I already have my sticker down for Thursday. I also have some shows on Tuesday and some shows on Friday. So that is it for my icon stickers, so now I can go in and I can start doing a little bit of decorating. So going to be it. The only other thing that I'm going to add, I'm not actually doing anything at church that day, but I do want to mark that I'm going to Mass. So I'm just going to use a little green flag and one of my church stickers from Paper Pineapple. The last thing that I need to do is I need to put in a flag where I can write down what month it is. So I can write down February up here because it is officially my birthday month. So that is very exciting. I might actually just use one of the green half boxes since I already sort of peeled it up. Basically the perfect size. Oh, 
perfect. And I think I will add one more mask right up there just to finish off the decorating. And so that is it for this week right now. It's pretty full so far. Monday is definitely very full and so is Thursday, but I still have space to fill in things as they come up, which is good because things do have a tendency to come up throughout the week, but I am really happy with how this decorating turned out. I'm really happy with how this spread looks for the moment, and I'm really excited for it to finally be February. It's my birthday month, so which is clearly the best month of the entire year. Just saying. So thank you for watching. I will give links to all the shops I use down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Instagram channel if you want to see more pictures of how this fills out throughout the week. It is at Ethereal Plans, which I will also link below. And thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye!